Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about experience. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, so what should a junior do with no industry experience? Find a company that will allow you to be under the wing of a senior or a knowledgeable junior for a while so that you can get up to speed. Well, uh, this was actually, there was someone who kind of got to this question before me and gave a very good, I think a very good summary. Basically, uh, look for jobs in your area, focus on learning the core skills like the key technologies that these jobs are looking for, uh, practice, 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 uh, and then uh, try to uh, add like portfolio projects or personal projects, educate yourself, all these sorts of things. And then what I basically add in is to say that you can also do freelance work or pro bono work, things like that. Um, because the goal, this is the this is the whole goal and this is the thing you're trying to do, uh, you're trying to build up to. You're trying to get yourself to a level of knowledge that is close enough so that the company will make an investment into you. And I know that there are some people who might think that that is impossible or so forth, and it, it isn't, guys, and the, the software industry doesn't hate juniors. It's just that the software industry is looking for people who who have a certain level of knowledge, usually. And it can vary from region to region, and it can vary from company to company, but everybody has an idea roughly of where you need to be in order to be applicable. And some companies of course are absolutely not gonna hire a junior for no reason whatsoever because they basically think it's too much of a hassle, etc, etc. But I know for a fact that a junior who has the right level of understanding can find work. Because I used to be one. And it's not if, if you don't believe. I mean, if you don't believe that it's. Just, I mean, if you think that I'm some type of golden child or golden boy that just kind of made that happen. Remember, there's tons of people who work in IT who they all started somewhere. And just uh, I was telling the subscriber that uh, just the other day uh, I was performing an interview with one uh, with a candidate, and she was lacking severely in. Uh, like in technical knowledge, like uh, she had a understanding. I mean, she had done some development work on her CV. She had been a team lead. She had been working for this amount of years. She had a bachelor's degree, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But like just by looking at her CV, I could immediately tell that yep, the this is uh, like I mean, and it's okay because I know that she's a junior, and I know I mean I would have done the same thing. I did do the same thing. She's just trying to add anything so that the she will get her CV through the recruiters and or either get to this stage of the interview because this is where it's going this is where she needs to be like the personal interview like uh, because she's she already passed the code test uh, the personal interview is where it's all that's the money uh, uh, this is where the big decision usually happens when it comes to juniors because if you can get all the way to the technical interview which is a very common thing for a lot of companies then uh, this is where you have a chance to prove yourself and she bombed almost all like she had I mean it's not like she didn't know the basics but there were a lot of things that she didn't really know but the thing was that she had probably one of the best personalities that I've ever had, me and my co we were two who were interviewing her. And she was hungry to learn, she even took notes when we, uh, when she, uh, like, because we ask her questions about different tools and different concepts and so forth. And she tries to explain it and if she doesn't know, we say, no, that's not really correct, it's actually that it works this way. And she would write it down. That's just, a, a, that's a tip right there for you and showed an enormous amount of interest. So when we ended the call, she I'm assuming now uh, that she kind of thought that, yeah, this is, uh, it's over for me now. 
because I couldn't get any of the answers right. So what I then, of course, which is usually the case, guys, the manager will come in immediately after the interview and then they will talk about you after the interview is done. And usually you will get like almost always like a decision like that, uh, depending on the company, of course. And we, my manager asked both me and my coworker, what did you think about her? And I said, if she wants to be a consultant, I don't think we should hire her because she, as a consultant, like every hour counts. And like this, usually you want, if you're hiring a consultant, it's not a good you don't invest in such a person usually you just want them to produce depending on company of course but if she is open to be a permanent employee i think uh, we can give her uh, we should give her a junior position uh, because uh, her personality is top notch but she will be an investment we will need to train her and then i wrote guess what happens and there was a few people who actually like uh, I, I was making a joke because I had hoped that what happened next would, would be obvious, but I'm sorry, it was not. So what happened next was that my manager said that uh, he is going to have a look and see among the teams if we have any junior level positions that we can put her in where she can get a mentor and like get someone who who she can like shadow and so forth and if we can find such such a spot for her then we are going to give her like we're going to give her a chance and make an offer and see if she's interested and this was a she was uh, we interviewed her like a day after a other another uh, junior candidate this guy had a master's degree had worked as a consultant and little things like that and he had no personality he had no interest basically in software development and he had no skills he couldn't like uh, he, he could not answer like the most basic things and the she had on, he, she only quote unquote had a bachelor's degree and she got the job based on passion and like just decent level you know, software skills that's what you got and this is what I've been telling you guys passion personal interest drive all of this stuff hunger that is the biggest deal there is when it comes to hiring a junior software developer your your like your 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 degree is I mean shit it, it, your degree will only matter if you get if uh, it, it will get your CV to the person who's going to evaluate if they want to take a personal interview with you. That's the only thing that the degree is there to do. Literally the only thing. Nobody gives a shit. If you get to the personal interview, the rest is down to tooling knowledge, your personal ambitions, like the hunger and the passion and like how much you need to sell that you are going to be a good investment because nobody's going to hire a junior because of your amazing skills because you're not going to have any. And uh, then people started asking me, well, what would you say, hap does this happen often, that someone with a bachelor's or a master's has no skill? And I go, yes, that is the, that's the baseline. You, see, you think, if you think that you getting a master's degree means that you're going to get a job, you are so wrong. Holy shit, you're wrong. It might go that way. But this guy had just turned up for the classes. I gave an analogy. I said, uh, imagine that if you want to be a software developer, it is in a sense the same thing as trying to be a mus musician. You can, if you're really lucky, be extraordinarily talented. But on average, if all you do is play your instrument when you're in class, then sure, when you're done with school, you're going to have a degree, but you're not going to get a job. Because the thing that makes a great mus musician is the personal drive. All the other things that you need to learn, you learn on your own. The school is just going to give you the basics. It's the same thing in software development. And she had continued and pushed after her education was done. He had not. So, what I want you to take away from this is that if you are trying to get in uh, trying to you have no prior experience etc etc all that you can really do is to try to bridge the gap between 
where you are right now and what is the requirement of the companies that are doing the hiring. The best way for you to do that is, as this other person was saying, is look at the job postings, relevant tools, educate yourself, do personal projects, freelance work or whatever, like pro bono work, etc, etc, etc. And then prepare to get into the interviewing stage. Make sure that your CV looks good, all of these sorts of things, because if the CV doesn't get to the manager and you don't get the call, then you the then nothing else was, is going to matter. But once you get there, you need to sell that you care about software development, because on average, that is the reason why a company will invest into a junior candidate. If they think that you will be a good culture fit and you're going to learn things quickly and you're going to be hungry and you're going to want to be there, they will give you a real serious thought but if you think that you can just if you think that your degree matters even a little bit if you don't have those things no nobody cares about a software developer who has a master's degree but doesn't know anything doesn't seem to want to learn and has no hunger and so forth because here's the big secret guys most of IT most pro of software development is filled up with passionate nerds or nerds at the very least and nerds want to work with other nerds they don't want to work with someone they think is going to be a bore to be around or somebody they're going to have to train without having any fun with or having a lot of problems with so if you want to get a real shot try to use your personality those soft skills they're going to matter I promise you they're going to matter have a great day